A day of deep sea fishing on a charter vessel turned into terror on the high seas off the coast of Cape Town. Hey, is it possible a megalodon attacked and sank a charter fishing boat off the coast of South Africa? Or is this just somebody making up stories again? I've got the answer to that ocean mystery, plus answers on a couple other things that you guys are curious about. Like this picture claiming this crash photo is real, a picture that wants us to believe this palm tree really looked like that, and a photo that claims this is a real roller coaster. I've got all that, plus a new mystery video, my favorite fake of the week, and a whole lot more. So grab a snack, sit back, and get ready to test your brains. Hey guys, Bill here. We're going to be getting to that big Megalodon story in just a second, but first I want to give a big shout out to this week's sponsor, The Ridge. Today I want to show you one of my favorite Ridge products, the backpack. This one's called the Classic. Come rain or shine, this super lightweight, weather resistant bag gets the job done for me on so many levels. I can use it when I'm out in the jungle looking for that perfect shot or just hanging out with my wife on vacation. It's got a special rip resistant nylon shell, especially strong zippers, and even has a cable part to charge your batteries on the fly. Guys, I've been using the Ridge backpacks for a while now and I love them. And you know what? I think you will too. Just go to ridge.com slash Bill's channel and use the code Bill's channel for 10% off. I'm going to leave a link in the description box, so don't wait. Get clicking and check out the Ridge bags today. Okay, so now what about this big mystery of what may be a megalodon attack on a fishing boat? It was first sent in by Ella Hef who wrote, Hey Bill, I found this video claiming a megalodon attacked a boat. Is this video for real? or just another BFF, as in big fat fake. Ella, when it comes to anything remotely related to megalodons, you know I'm all over it. So let's take a look. Megalodons, as you may know, are the biggest sharks to ever roam the seas. They were said to have been three times larger than great white sharks. Now here, look at this, this is a tooth of one of these beasts and with teeth that big you can see how it could bring down an entire vessel taking a closer look we see the video was posted by ali abbas and is called megalodon attacks boat in south africa the video shows what looks like a group of friends who have chartered a fishing boat where are you guys one of the men on the vessel snags a really big fish he fights with it for over two hours, but then this happens. Shortly after he loses his fish, something really big attacks the boat and the vessel sinks. Now, according to this video, the authorities sent out a search and rescue operation. At first, they thought they were dealing with maybe a giant whale that had breached, you know, when it comes out of the water. And when it came down, it accidentally came down on this boat, broke it, and sank it. But when they found the wreckage underwater, that's when they realized they weren't dealing with a whale. They were dealing with something a lot more aggressive, like a giant shark. And that is where the video ends. Wow, that is a pretty tragic story. I don't think anybody on that boat survived, but just the same, you know, to me, it doesn't make any sense that that's where the video ends. So I started thinking that maybe it just got cut off there. I scoured the internet looking for more pieces to this story. And as luck would have it, I found out that the Discovery Channel did a story about this whole thing for their Shark Week series. They hired marine biologist Colin Drake to come in and find the fish that attacked the boat. Colin and his team placed a remote camera near where the boat sank, and Drake himself makes it very clear what he thinks it is. I'm thinking it's Megalodon, and this thing is a monster. Now, just to be clear, you know, most scientists believe that the Megalodon went extinct two million years ago or even more. But as this documentary points out, there are a lot of things in this world that we thought went extinct only to show up again like Omura's whale. 
This whale, which is kind of a small whale, uh, they thought went extinct a long time ago. And guess what? Somebody spotted a live one in just 2013. And that's just one discovery out of many, many more. Now, returning to our Megalodon story. One, two, three. What do you mean? What can I do? Okay, okay. okay. You're down, put down, put down, put down. At the end of the documentary, Drake finally spots something really big on the radar. The entire team swings into action, they get in the water, get in shark cages, get out their cameras, and finally, finally record some authentic video. Okay, so now before I go any further, I think it's time for you to let me know what you're thinking before I reveal what's in here, the old official answer. If you think Drake and his team came up with some solid evidence that Megalodons still live in the ocean, then vote real. Now, on the other hand, if you think they didn't find anything and Discovery Channel just kind of made the whole thing up, then I want you to vote fake. And if you think we don't really have an answer, which is kind of logical in this particular case, then what you do is you vote unknown. Go ahead and leave me your votes up here if that thing's still working. I'm not sure. I think YouTube might have taken it away at this point. Uh, the other thing you can do is always leave me your answer down in the comment section. Or if you're in a group or with your family or something like that, you can always just shout it out so everybody knows where you stand. You ready? And go. While we're waiting for everybody to make up their mind and vote, what do you say we take a look at this week's mystery video? Where's my son? Oh no, where's my son? Rack sent this video in. It's called Where's My Son and was posted by American Kudisu. The video shows this guy running around in a restaurant frantically looking for his missing son. Now, eventually he does find the boy, but his son is, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, what is... I? Is that for real? And then after the man runs out with his son, another guy falls on the floor and starts shaking. Now, I don't have a clue what's going on in this video. I don't know whether it's real, I don't know whether it's fake, but I'll tell you what, if you have any solid information on this thing, please, please give us some information in the comment section. Thank you. Okay, now that I have my brains completely fried by that mystery video, wow, that was a weird one. What do you say we get back to our Megalodon and get the official answer here? And by the way, did you know that scientists have a funny term that they call creatures that they find alive that they thought that were extinct? Yeah, listen to this. It's called Lazarus Taxon. It's kind of a tongue twister. Lazarus Taxon. And where they got this was from the Christian Bible of all places. So there was this character named Lazarus. He died. And then as the story goes, you know, uh, Jesus brought him back to life. Kind of weird. But uh, anyway, and I don't know where the taxon comes from. Probably taxidermy or something like that. But anyway, getting off the track. Sorry about that. Let's get to the official answer here. Ladies and gentlemen, that story and that video about a possible megalodon attack is... 100% without any doubts, completely fake. As it turns out, the story about the fishing boat being sunk by a large fish is a complete hoax made up by the Discovery Channel. That's true. All this video was actually staged for Discovery's cameras. The documentary doesn't even have real people in it. Even the scientist, Colin Drake, well, he's not even a scientist, he's just an actor. He's actually known for his work in Australian soap operas. So you see, when it comes to BFFs, we're not even safe with the Discovery Channel. I mean, I don't know what's going on in this world, but it seems like everybody, I mean, everybody, wants to pull the wool over our eyes at one time or another, so we have to remain vigilant, we have to take a second look at everything, and if you are still unsure, well then, you send it into the Real or Fake Show because that's why we're here. Coming up, is this crash scene video for real? And how about this palm tree with a face? What's going on there? Yeah. Stop 2020 has certainly turned out to be one of the strangest years I have ever experienced. But I don't think it's as strange for me as it is for this guy. The picture was sent in by Wasteland Wanderer, who just wrote, Is the attached image real or a massive fake? Wasteland, you know, anybody can take a wrong turn and end up a blind alley. But how many people do you know that can like, end up 
like suspended in the air between two buildings without a little help from Photoshop. If you're thinking digital manipulation, well, I'm right there with you because I mean, look at where the car is. How would you even get there? Okay guys, take a good look and let me know what you think. If you think this is a real photo and has not been altered in any way, then vote real. If on the other hand, you think somebody photoshopped this, then just vote fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have an answer, then what you do is you vote unknown. Votes up here if possible, answers down in the comment section, or just shout it out. I am gonna get out this, and we're gonna find out who's right and who's wrong. Let's see what we got here. As Soon as I can get this thing open. All right, here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a solid answer here. Did you vote fake? Okay, well, if you did, you are wrong. It's real. Thanks to Facebook super researchers, Kent Casey Martinez, Pranjal Dutta, and Clint Namo Cat Cat, we now know a driver in San Diego lost control of his car in a parking lot and got wedged between the parking structure and a children's hospital. The man in the car was rescued by firefighters and had no physical injuries, just a lot of egg on his face. Hey, did you see this picture being passed around on the internet? Explosion Boy sent this in. It claims to show a new aircraft that solves the social distancing problem for the airlines. Explosion Boy, all I can tell you is that picture is more fake than this three saddle horse. And that's pretty fake. The picture was sent in by Lewis who just wrote, I am wondering if this palm tree I saw on the internet is real or fake. Lewis, despite the fact that this palm tree looks suspiciously like Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons, uh, you never can tell with these kind of things because it could be real. Now, if you watch this show on a regular basis, you know we are constantly talking about this weird brain phenomena known as pareidolia. That's that phenomena where your brain misperceives things like seeing faces where none exist. All right, so here's the question. Are we having a pareidolia experience with this picture? Or is somebody trying to make us think we're having a pareidolia experience? Take another look, then let me know what you think. If you think this is a real picture of a real tree, then vote real. If on the other hand, you think somebody took a normal tree and altered it, either physically or via Photoshop, then you vote fake. And as usual, you can always vote unknown. Okay, so votes up here, answers down there, or just shout it out. I'm gonna get out this, and we're gonna find out whether we got a real pareidolia thing going on here. Uh, I don't think we've ever had a pareidolia picture that turned out to be a fake, because most of the time, well, it's not a real face, but it's a case of real pareidolia. It's a little complicated. Anyway, uh, well, in this particular case, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have kind of a surprise answer because the official answer on this one is eight. Thanks to some expert research by David White and Miko Miranda, we now have this, the original picture of the tree that, well, has no face. Somebody added that with a computer, which is too bad because, you know, if it was my yard, I think it would be great to have a tree that looks just like Sideshow Bob in my backyard. Roller coasters have come a long way since their beginning in 18th century Russia. Over the years, they've become faster, taller, and more extreme. But what about this roller coaster? Kat and her nephew, Ethan, sent this picture in and wrote, Hey, Bill, is this a real roller coaster? Kate and Ethan, you know I have ridden my fair share of roller coasters. I mean, I love the adrenaline rush you get as you scream your way down the rails. But this? If this is real, you know what? I don't think I would eat for two days before I would get on this thing. Okay, guys, take a good long look and let me know what you think. If you think that is a real roller coaster with real people on it, vote real. On the other hand, if you think this is just something from a computer, then vote fake. And as usual, if you don't think we got that smoking gun answer, well, that's when you vote unknown. Okay, so votes up here if by miracle that oh, YouTube put it back. Uh, and you know what? What I've been thinking about doing it is I'm just going to keep saying vote up there. So when new people come to the show and they start screaming, hey, where's the voting thing? You forgot to put it in. That's when you answer them in the comments and say, don't yell at Bill. 
yell at YouTube because they're the ones that took the voting away. So then maybe enough people will write in and YouTube puts it back. Now that would be good. All right, now let's get to this. Um, let's see. Real roller coaster? Oh, no. Okay. And then, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. It's going to take a little explaining because the answer is a little bit complicated. And if you did vote unknown, well, that wasn't necessary because the actual photo itself, that's fake. Thanks to a lot of help from many Facebook readers, including John Lloyd Umani, we now know that this roller coaster is real, but this particular picture is fake. It's called the Yukon Striker, and it resides in Canada's Wonderland Park. Now, according to USA Today News, it is the fastest dive coaster in the world. Researcher Jacob Madden pointed out this picture was taken from one of the many animations the park released uh, before the ride was actually opened and available to the public. All right, well, that's all the time I have for that section of the show, but don't click away just yet. Coming up next is my favorite fig of the week. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. And now, for my favorite fake of the week. The video doesn't really have a name, but it was actually sent in by my brother, Jack. Now, some people are claiming this video is from the recent social unrest in the United States. It supposedly shows a man who looted an ATM machine and is now trying to get on a bus with it. In reality, this video is just a prank from a New Jersey comedian named Darius Kinney, and it was made an entire year before the current protest erupted. And that makes this video so, so fake. fake! It's, it's funny. funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.